Good morning from the beautiful countryside of Italy. We're about 50 minutes outside of Bari, an hour and 20 minutes from the coast of Mafia, or Mafia Coast. I'll tell you where we're at right now, but I can't pronounce it. Uh, I found a park not far off the main highway to stay and sleep for tonight. I tried, I wanted to get off the highway. The night before, we stayed alongside the main highway and it was just truck after truck. I didn't sleep very good. I think Stephanie slept all right, but she can sleep through just about anything. So we're getting rinsed up, we're going to drink some coffee, and uh, we're going to hit the road towards the coast. After a beautiful drive through the countryside, which is my favorite part of Italy, we made it to the coast. It's back to chaos. People driving like madmen. There's millions of people. And a fort. So we gotta figure out where we're gonna go from here. Uh, Stephanie's been searching campgrounds, but is having a hard time because the reviews for the campgrounds have not been good, so. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine driving a passenger bus through here. Oh, there's two of them.
No, not a chance. Yeah, and there's two mopeds behind me trying to go around. Like... <sighs> I know, I'm, I was giving them room back there. They should have passed in the straight back there, but they didn't. Yeah. Okay, so we stopped and, and picked up these two lovely people. What's Hello. your names? <laughs> Antonia. So I'm David. David Hi. and Antonia. Yeah. Yes. And you, you're from? We're from, uh, we yeah. grew up in Germany, and but we live in Vienna. Yes. That's Which awesome. is where this band is from. And we took the wrong uh, bus station to get out, <laughs> and uh, now you pick us up, so <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> so we're driving them off at a beach right before heading up to our campground, which ironically, they were camping up near where we'll be camping. Yes. But you guys, so you leave tomorrow? Yes, yes we will leave tomorrow. Yeah. Back yeah. to Austria? Yeah. Me too. Oh. And I will, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I will see, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm traveling cool. with the bike, so uh, I don't know. Where's where your bike? Up at the camp. Up at the camp, yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Like Sorry, bike was I facing that up? It's a, uh, I don't know, street bike? Street bike, yes, uh, oh. but a little bit with, uh, yeah. Uh, like a bike too? Like, yes. I don't know, like where you can put. Like a construction where you can put the uh, bags on. Oh, what? I have. So, you have yeah. um, saddlebags? Yes, oh, like saddlebags. Saddlebags yes. for the bike. What yes. bike do you? Uh, it's an old Peugeot uh, bike, yes. I'm so not from the 90s, I think. Are you it's familiar? It's a French bike. Is it? <laughs> yes. It's a pretty purple cool. one. Purple. Is it comfortable? For no. that long? <laughs> no. <laughs> so the wheels are too thin. Yeah. And uh, next time I think I will take a gravel bike or something. Like yeah. That. <laughs> That's what he's. But been... The bike is so beautiful, so I can't. Uh, yeah. Going. Yeah. <laughs> he's been saying the same thing because he rides motorcycles and ah, okay. he was like, I'd yeah. much rather be doing this on a bike yeah. than in this I'll van. Never do this yeah. again. The road, yeah. the roads are too beautiful. Too beautiful, yes. <laughs> yeah. And bikes are just so easy. You, like, yeah. You can park them wherever. They are. Them wherever. They are easier with parking. That's for oh, sure. Yeah, it is. We have officially been in this camper for a week today. So we picked it up last Thursday on the 21st. It is now the 28th. Filled the water tank up. The water tank holds 100 gallons of water. Or it might have been a hundred liters. Yeah, because they don't go by gallons. A hundred gallons is not accurate. That's why I was questioning you. There's no way that thing is a hundred gallons. It's also, huge. Not really. Have you seen a hundred gallon tank? I'm just picturing a gallon of milk and a hundred of those. That's a lot. I'm not surprised if it's a hundred gallons because I've seen a hundred gallon fuel tanks in the back of pickup trucks. So I know it's very easy, easily capable of being done also with only being in a camp well with being in a camper for a week we've only used 50 percent of our water oh uh, so there's a little charger indicator so we're fully plugged in right now the battery is showing 13.5 fuel or uh, this is a water tank 
It is showing 50%. And then I want to say this is a gray, but the gray water tank has a thing in the bathroom itself that will blink red when it's full. Nice thing about the auto shut off on this thing is you don't have to breathe in diesel fumes every time you get stuck in a tunnel. Yeah, that's true. This is the first tunnel we've been stuck in. Uh, I think it's just traffic related. There's probably like a weird exit on the way out of here or something. And we've only passed two of those fans that they put in these tunnels, so uh, I think it's an older tunnel, judging by the walls. So it's probably, they, they probably screwed up a few spots here and there and realized that they need at least two fans in here. The, the guys on mopeds do not stop. They just keep going. They don't care. They, oncoming traffic, it doesn't matter. So after a short, simple, easy drive with hardly any turns, no close calls or near misses with mopeds. We made it to a parking lot where the camper van will sit for the rest of the day while we go on an adventure. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we stayed at a campsite last night and uh, kind of just relaxed, caught up on some things. And uh, Stephanie found an excursion. This morning we got up at 5.30 left the campsite at 6.30, and then made it, just made it to the parking lot at 9.
We are currently on a mountain, on an island, in the middle. It's Capri. We're in Capri. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. We're gonna walk to the lookout now. Yeah. And then go get some gelato, limoncello. Let's try to get some on the way up and on the way back. Yeah. Cause I'm thirsty. Let's be. do this. to see the other side of Capri. Uh, I guess all views are of the ocean, but this is like, so you can see Love Rock and, and whatnot. And Dolce Gabbana has a house here. How <laughs> crazy is that? I'm more impressed by the gardens. Like they built these little sheds for the flowers and everything. We got one of the famous lemon sorbets in a lemon. It is very lemony. It's so good. It is super good. It's like, wow, there's a school here. There's like a whole. Is it? It's like a ferry to get here. <laughs> 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 So we only got four hours on the island, but honestly that is all we really need. It's the same like as any other city you would go to, just tourist stuff to do. Bag it on. Maybe talk to After a real quick walk up to some easy stairs, we are back from our trip. We are. Now we are basically in the heart of Sorrento. We're going to head to 
the grocery real quick if we can find a little market and go back to the bus and make some food and probably freshen up we met some friends we might meet them out later so i guess we're gonna head back to town Quick draw, kick. Oh my. Oh. officially calling it a day it is it's past midnight now uh we just said goodbye to our jersey people our jersey friends yeah they're heading where to they amsterdam they're heading to amsterdam so jealous in two days or tomorrow well tomorrow they're heading to tuscany which is like a 10 hour drive yeah and then to amsterdam and they thought it was a five hour drive <laughs> yeah that's okay it's all in the planning I mean, <laughs> no, it's a seven hour. She thought it was fine. Yeah. Well, we're calling it. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.